Kingdom has always had an uneasy relationship with the European Union. They didn't like all the rules. They didn't like to have to be dictated to. They didn't want to join the Euro. They didn't want to join the immigration policies. And so little by little, they opted out of as many policies of, as they could until they got to the point where the only opt out was departure. But the UK has voted to leave the European Union. How do I best take back control of our money, borders and laws? We are looking, obviously well, we are working on what our future customs relationship with the European Union will be. Uh, in December, when the joint report was published between the European Union and the United Kingdom, uh, we set out clearly options in relation to the uh, commitment that we have given for no hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. Um, we expect that to be dealt with through the overall relationship we have with the European Union. And because Northern Ireland is part of the UK, it will leave the European Union too. But unlike England, Scotland and Wales, it shares a border with an EU country, the Republic of Ireland. Hello. So this 300 mile stretch will be the brand new external border of the European Union. And there lies the big problem. You see, they're worried about how you would go about checking the goods crossing in and out of the EU. Because I think that the British people ought to elect politicians that they can hold to account that make all their laws. I want out of the EU so we govern ourselves, control our borders and trade with the world again and not be stuck in a declining trade block. I think it's really a dive into the unknown and I don't know what to expect if we leave and that's just too much of a risk for me. I really fear that we will go back to the, the days in the 70s and the 80s where the economy wasn't that great and we were still trying to really build ourselves up. I think we do need to realise that we're not big old Britain anymore, we don't have an empire. The last thing that we'll have if we're not in Europe is being in the Security Council. Mr Speaker, these, these are about the choices that this House faces. The legal default, the legal default in UK and EU law remains that the UK will leave the EU without a deal unless 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 something else is agreed the onus is now on every one of us in this house to find out what that is the options before us are the same as they always have been we could leave we could leave with the deal which this government has negotiated over the past 2 years we could leave with the deal we have negotiated but subject to a second referendum but that would risk no brexit at all damaging, damaging the fragile trust between the British public damaging, damaging the fragile trust between the British public and the members of this house. And now we're back to How Did I Get Here? The only show that makes you ask yourself, how did I get here? <laughs> Here's our first person. Oh, oh my God, how did I get here? <laughs>